In this video, we are going to learn about discount schedule. As a CPU user, you want to give various discounts to your users. It could be a partner discount, a channel discount, or a system discount. In CPQ world, you can offer a volume discount where depending upon the number of quantity that end user is buying, you can specify the discount percentage that user is entitled to. Or if it is subscription product based on the term of subscription, for example, it is three months, you can give 10% discount. If it is two years, you can give 30% discount. Cost discount is based on the price of the product instead of the list price. In our example today, we are going to create as a discount schedule for ice creams. To do that, we have to first create a discount schedule. Then we have to create tiers. And at the end, we have to associate the discount schedule to a product. So we are going to create a discount schedule where if two ice creams are sold, then there is no discount. 10% discount if ice creams are between three to five and 25 discount if six plus ice cream quantity is sold. Now let's look into the CPQ. We're going to create a new discount schedule. We'll name it at ice cream discount. Type will keep it range because we are specifying range of discount based on the quantity. Discount unit will keep it as percent. And then we are going to aggregate on the quote. We'll hit save. Once discount schedule is created, we are going to now create various tiers over here. We'll give a meaningful name three to five ice cream if the between lower bound three till upper bound six just if it is six that means it tries to count till five quantity we are providing 10 percent discount yeah. for six plus ice cream for lower bound six no value in the upper bound, we are providing 25% discount. So far, we have created a discount schedule and created two tiers. Then we have to associate the discount schedule with the product. So let's go and search for that product. Let's say for vanilla ice cream, has a discount schedule based on the quantity that is being sold. Let's save this. Now we are going to see it in action. We'll go to a quote. Let's pick up a quote. Say edit lines. Say add ice creams. So we'll go through our guided selling. We'll pick up vanilla ice cream. Now, if I make the price as three and hit calculate, the unit price 10% discount is given. That's why it is 2.7. If I make it seven, then 25% discount is given on the same quantity. If I make it two, expectation is there should not be any discount given. So 
it is prices so what we have seen so far is if I go to details that these tiers what I have created work on the range anytime a quantity goes beyond 6 then straight away 25% discount is applied now let's look how slabs work I'll just change the type to slab now what this means is that if I have got seven products seven quantities of a particular product first two product will be sold at 0% discount next three product will be sold at a discount of 10% and the last two will be sold at a discount of 25% so just remember now we are going to do the same activity with a different type of discount schedule slab add ice cream vanilla will select earlier when the quantity was 8 we got a discount net price of 0.75 but now if I do 8 and hit calculate it is 6.95 the reason being the first two product are sold at let me open calculator The first two are sold at a price of 1. The next three are sold at a price of 9. So I'll just add those. Then next three 7, 5 plus 0.75 plus 0.75 are sold at price of 0.75 so that's the difference between a slab and a range thank you